Hello and welcome to our Outlook 2016 YouTube session. My name is Kara Clifford here at Learn It in San Francisco. Looking forward to telling you guys some of the new tips and tricks and features available in Outlook 2016. I know a lot of you are probably giving or receiving new computers with Windows 10, and Windows 10 is being offered with Office 2016. So we thought we'd highlight one of the most popular applications, and that is the email application Outlook. So, as a special thank you to all of our subscribers and people viewing this channel, we wanted to give you guys access to some of our live instructor-led training. It's a great opportunity to ask real questions to real instructors and learn all of the great new features for Office 2016. The training will be offered on January 29th. It can be attended remote from anywhere in the world, and it's going to be available at, for a cost of $25, which is like an 80% discount. It's about uh, normally $130. So if you're looking for that extra little Christmas gift um, to include an extra stock, stocking stuffer, I highly recommend emailing info at learnit.com. Um, you can also go to the channel information where you'll see all the details on the special and uh, a place to email us for more information or to register. So let's go ahead and take a look at the application and see all of these great new features that we have available in Office 2016. The first thing you'll probably notice is that it's very similar to the earlier versions of Outlook. Outlook 2010 and Outlook 2013 had the similar interface with the ribbon navigation pane. And for the most part, you won't have to really make huge uh, adjustments to how you use the tools. First thing I noticed when I came here is that big blue bar across the top. As someone that uses the different versions of Outlook regularly and teaches classes on them, um, having a, a nice colorful interface was a nice, su nice surprise. Outlook 2013 was very, very stark. It was very white, and they gave us this nice colorful theme. Now, you do have the ability to change the theme, and I can go to the file menu of the ribbon, and from the file menu of the ribbon, I can enter my Outlook options. Anytime I'm teaching an Outlook class, I always recommend looking through the options because there really is a way to customize almost every element of this application. From the general section of the options, I have the ability to change my background. I can change it to calligraphy. And I also have the ability to change the theme. Right now, it's set on colorful, which means that bright blue bar across the top. But I can switch it to white or my personal favorite, dark gray. When I say OK, I'll notice that not only do I have that lovely little calligraphy in the top right corner, but I have a lot more contrast with that dark background. One of the things that I really appreciate when working in Outlook is the ability to have that high contrast, to have that dark background. If I'm ever working in a really bright room or I'm teaching in a really bright classroom, I can be challenging for people to see which tab of the ribbon I'm referring to. So by switching to this darker theme, you have that nice contrast where it's very easy to see what ribbon you're clicking on. Another great new feature of Outlook 2016 is the ability to search. They really have improved searching. And if I click into the search bar right at the top, I get my search tools, that ribbon giving me that ability to customize all of my search options. One of the first things I always remind people whenever they're working in Outlook and I'm training them is to notice that it's only gonna be searching the current mailbox. This current mailbox is going to be looking at everything in this particular LT Win 10 mailbox. But oftentimes we have multiple mailboxes selected or we just want to search a current folder. Another great way to use the search is to use these refine, search refine options where I can say has attachments or a specific subject line or from a specific person. Being able to refine your search really does speed up how quickly you're able to find information. 
Now, one of my personal search features in Outlook is not brand new, but I wanna show you guys it because it really does make a huge difference. Oftentimes, I find myself searching for the same items over and over again, and there is a great feature that's been available for a few iterations of Outlook, and that's search folders. So I just wanna show you guys how to set up some search folders to make searching a lot more enjoyable and fast. So from the bottom left side of my screen, I have my navigation pane. And you'll notice that there's a section called search folders. By default, we don't have any search folders available, but they're very easy to create. When I click on the search folder icon, my new search folder button appears. And once I select that, I'm able to choose or create search folders. I can create search folders to or from specific people. So if I wanna create a folder of all the emails my boss sends me or an important client, I can do that. Simply select the folder that you want to choose or the template that you wanna choose and then select choose and this will give you the ability to search through all of your different contacts. One of my personal favorite search folders is mail with attachments. I'm always looking for specific emails with attachments and this is a folder that I find very useful. So I'm gonna select that and say okay. And now I have a new folder right below my search folders called with attachments and here i can see i have an email it's actually one that i sent to myself on this training account but i can see that attachment right here now in addition to search folders one of the brand new features of outlook 2010 is this new tell me option right at the top so if the tell me option gives us the ability to not only search the help menu but search around the application um, I'm going to go ahead and go into that tell, tell me menu. You'll notice it right at the very top of the screen. And when I click in here, I can say something like printing. And I can use Smart Lookup to get me information on printing. When I do, a pane on the right hand side opens up and it gives me some insights and it's letting me know, hey, they're valuing my privacy, are you okay? Um, this is because I had never used it before. Once I approve that it's uh, gonna track my searches, I can explore all of the different options within printing and it's using Bing Search. So maybe I want information on printing, but also maybe I want information on printing in Outlook. Now, if I wanna print in Outlook, I can type in the same search And I have a, a bunch of different options like just regular print, print with attachments, or print preview. If I select print preview, it moves me directly to the print preview screen on the email that I'm in. So rather than giving me the help menu, this tell me brought me right to where that feature was. Um, if I s type in something like signature, I can get help and use the help menu, this will open up the Outlook 2016 help menu. So Microsoft has made it easier for you to stay within the application without having to move back and forth to the internet, searching for things, and it makes it easier to find emails, information that you use within the application, and also tools like search folders make finding those things that you're always searching for very quick and easy. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next new feature. Um, we're gonna look at some of the new features available with attachments. So I'm gonna open up an email uh, and create a new email with an attachment. So from the application, I'm going to go to the home tab of the ribbon and I'm gonna select new email. When I do, I have pretty much the same standard interface that we've had in earlier versions. I've got the tabs across the top. I also have Tell Me available right here in the new email window. I can put in an email address. I'll go ahead and just put in my own personal email address here at Learn It and my subject. And now that I am in the body of the email, you'll notice that the ribbon is no longer grayed out. From that message tab of the ribbon, I have the attachment button and any email that I've attached recently will show up. And this includes information from your OneDrive, which is the cloud storage available with an Office 365 subscription or an Outlook.com account. 
If I select this document that I emailed earlier on my OneDrive, it attaches that from the cloud and then it gives me a drop down from that attachment where I actually have the ability to set permissions. So I can say this is a read only file, people can only view it, or I can give out edit permissions right here from the email. As someone that uses OneDrive quite a bit and is always having to set permissions, it's such a great feature to not have to go back to the OneDrive web app and set my permissions on that. I can do that right here from the email attachment. I think this is also super great when you're working within an organization that has a lot of confidential information and you want to make sure that you're always working within the internal policies of your organization or for individuals that just want to share information and use the cloud so that you have one document for everyone to work on. Once I have my attachment, I can go ahead and put in my message, hit send, and now that email attachment has been shared and I can view that through my sent items folder. Another really great new feature available in Outlook 2016 is the ability to create groups. Um, groups allow you to create little marketing teams, people that you work with, clients that you regularly email, and it'll sort and take all of those emails and keep them in one location. Uh, it just makes it a, night, a lot easier to stay organized in your inbox, and I think that's all of our challenge. How do we deal with all these emails that we get? So from, from the um, Outlook new email, I also have a button called new items. So I'm at the home tab and I have new items. And here I have a number of different things I can create. And I have more items and one of those items um, is this different folders. I also have a Skype meeting. So if I wanna create a new Skype meeting and I'm using Skype, I have that ability right there. So again, these are different ways to send out emails and I have my different contact groups which I can create using this contact group button and create those individual groups so I can keep my inbox nice and organized. So there are a few additional new features available in Outlook 2016, but a lot of those will depend on how you purchased Outlook 2016. If you got it by default by buying a new Windows machine, you may not get new brand new updates. For those of you that have Outlook 2016 through an Office 365 subscription, you'll have a few additional features like clutter that allows you to get rid of junk mail to kind of filter and learn your habits on how you delete emails. Um, I do not have that feature in this version because it's not purchased through an Office 365 license, but many of you will have it and in the future we'll be doing trainings on clutter. Before we sign off, I just wanna show you a couple other of my favorite things in Outlook that aren't necessarily new features, but just useful tips and tricks. Um, one of my favorites that I always find clients never use is a thing called web parts. Um, I don't know about you, but there's often times when I'm creating and adding the same information over and over again, like the address to our office. So the address to our Learn It office here is New Montgomery. And it's here in San Francisco. And I'm always putting this information into email. So when I have this information in the body of an email, I can basically save little templates. And these little tiny templates allow me to put information, whether it's a letter, a paragraph, a table, uh, a chart, things that I'm regularly putting into the body of an email. Now, once I have that information in a body of an email, I highlight it. And then from the insert tab of a rib the ribbon, there's a new button, or there is a button called Quick Parts. So quick parts allow us to put reused content into a, the body of an email quickly and they save it in a gallery. So the first step is having that information in the body of an email, highlighting it, then going to the insert tab, selecting quick parts and choosing save to quick part gallery. Here I can name this. 
put in a category if I want. I'm going to leave it in the general category and say OK. So now the next time I go to create a new email and I need to add that information, whether I'm replying to an existing email or sending something new, I can go to my quick parts and I can open this up and I can add that email. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the pop-up button that gives me my full ribbon. And from the insert tab now, I have my quick part button. And here is that learn it address where I can add that stop by and see us sometime. So quick parts again are a way to add reused content, content that you type regularly into an email and you can save it basically as a template. This is one of my favorite features of Outlook, mostly because most people don't know it's there. And it really does save a lot of time. When I'm working with anyone on my team and I find them uh, retyping information over and over or sending out the same type of email to different clients, I always remind them of quick parts because it really does make a huge difference on how long you're spending creating emails. So for those of you that want to shorten the amount of time in your email and be more efficient, I highly recommend checking out that feature. Again, it's not a new feature, but it is a very useful one. So I'd like to thank everyone for joining us. We're going to be continuing to do these nice little tips and tricks on different applications, Microsoft, Google, Adobe, all the different classes that we teach here at Learn It. I highly recommend checking out our website. We have a lot of great instructor-led trainings here in San Francisco, and all of our instructor-led trainings you can attend live online, including that special on January 29th where for $25 you can attend a four-hour live instructor-led training on Office 2016. You'll learn additional things on Outlook 2016, but also Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. So for those of you getting new hardware, new software this year for the holidays, check out this class and don't miss this great opportunity to attend one of our live instructor-led trainings. Email info at learnit.com for more information on that, or check out the comments section of our channel description, and you'll see that email address available. So thank you so much for joining us and watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great tips and tricks on all things related to end-user applications training. My name is Kara Clifford, and I appreciate you guys being here. Have a great day.